academic city university college thank you once again for uh, joining us and let me say congratulations to academic city university for your five-year milestone but for us the most important thing is can you share with our listeners some of the key factors that have contributed to the university's remarkable ranking as the 15th top university in sub-Saharan Africa and the second in Ghana, according to the Times Higher Education ranking. Yes, it's truly an exciting time for us. And thank you so much for having us on the show. Um, Academic City, as you said, we, we're only five years on the field and we hit the ground running mm. and wanting to make impact straight away. So when the rankings came out and we were second in Ghana, 15th in the whole of Africa, we were ecstatic. And what the Times Higher M M L M Education Learning was doing was measuring impact on Africa mm. and we've always wanted to have impact so if you look at the type of graduates we are, we're churning out if you look at the type of projects we are trying to do is one that is trying to change the narrative for Africa and become problem solvers to change our continent mm. now talking about impact it's inspiring to know about the success the global success stories yes. of academic cities graduates can you provide us with you know some few examples of alumni who have excelled in their various fields and how has the university's approach to education played a role in the accomplishments. Thank you so much. So if you look at how we teach at Academic City, it's very hands-on and very project-based. So these students started working on projects even before they left um, university. If you look at some of our recent graduates, so we graduated our first bunch last year in 2022. And one of our students, a presidential scholar, Wisdom Mahami, who is doing his national service now, actually was able to launch a thousand egg capacity egg incubators mm. in the north. So whilst he's doing his national service he's only employing over 50 um, people himself and wow. um, we had some of our students those who worked on the ventilator project during the COVID times some have launched their own business now and um, we have goliath robotics that is doing assistive medical devices is coming up with e-bikes and then we also have um, some of our students placing in some of the top universities out there we have students going directly doing phds in virginia tech some doing graduate studies in wpr partner institute oregon state and we even have some of our members is working full-time at Goldman Sachs in London. Great. And I mean, you've talked about the impact that these students are making. You've also talked about the partnerships. For instance, you've mentioned one of your partner institutions. Can you elaborate on the university's collaborations and partnerships with renowned institution and how, uh, you know, this network enhances the educational experience for Academic City students? Global partnership is very critical for Academic City because we want to make an impact locally, but we do understand that sometimes global experience and global exposure is very important. So if you look at some of our partners, we partner with Worcester Polytechnic Institute. Those were our, one of our first um, partners. Um, we collaborate with them on our new programs, Artificial Intelligence and Robotics. But aside them, we work with other institutions as well. We work with Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech sends their students to Ghana to do local projects. We send our students there. We work with University of Dayton. As we speak, three of our students are doing internship in University of Dayton. We have the Fontes Business School, who are well-renowned for their entrepreneurship. We have three of our students going there this summer. And we're constantly looking at how do we give our students exposure. But when we do this, it's because we want them to come back and make an impact locally, change our continent locally. Hmm, great. I like to think about you know changing our continent locally. So it's not just about studying and graduating with a degree but it's the impact you make post your degree exactly that because when you look all around when you go into the west you see that africans as we are we are very bright we're making impact everywhere else so it brings the question why are we not making that much of an impact locally and it's because a lot of the times people are trained and they run away we want people to see the opportunities that are in africa and say we have got the global exposure but we're going to bring it home to transform our continent tell me how does academic city strike a balance between academic rigor and innovative thinking i mean so for instance can you share examples of how this approach has enabled students to address real world challenges and contribute to the various sectors so if you look at academic city there's an underlining core of entrepreneurial thinking in the way we do things and if you look at our core pillars that we stand for experiential learning unified learning contextual learning it has an underlining core of what are you going to do differently so there are four modules that academic city we give all our students fundamentals in innovation and entrepreneurship 
which every student undertakes because as you're studying global principles, I like to call them, as you're getting the education, we want you to be looking around and say, what are the challenges around us and how do I turn it into a business? Yes, people are complaining that in Africa, sometimes you finish university and there's no job. If there isn't one, can you identify a challenge that you can solve? If you find yourself in a job, within that job, what can you change? What can you do differently? How can you increase your increase productivity? So we have these courses embedded within our, our, our courses. And we do the practical, um, um, practical base or project-based teaching, which means that when we are even assessing our students, it's not about trying to just remember or, um, uh, what you've learned by road, but rather you're supposed to demonstrate what you've learned by building a solution. Mm, it's not like chew and pour. Not chew and pour, pass, forget. Mm. So that was why recently I was speaking to somebody and we we're talking about the emergence of chat GPT. And we are now trying in some of the courses that I teach, um, technology and society, we're embedding it within the course. So it becomes an enabler. So it's not about the fact that you can go and memorize or ask somebody. It's about asking those questions that require your personal thinking. Mm, I like that. It becomes an enabler. Yeah. Okay. That's great. So now that you've turned five years, I know you have some activities lined up. When are you starting? What are these activities? Yes, so we have exciting times as well ahead. So we have the ACT Impact. Um, so we're beginning with the beach cleanup um, on the 9th of September at the Mighty Beach at Sakumono. So if anyone is around, please come and join us. Um, this will be followed by our ACT Honors, where we embrace, inspire, um, and talk about AC we honor society for what they have done. That's on the 11th to 15th of September. Then we have ACT Celebrates, where we learn, experience, celebrate, and basically have a good time. But this will all end with a public lecture um, by Dr. Ishmael Yamsin, who I have to say is my dad, oh. and an anniversary celebration of cocktail and networking. And this will be on the 15th, September 2023. So that will be the pinnacle of the whole celebration. And we hope people can join us as we celebrate five years of impact. Great. And as you celebrate five years of impact, I know there are people who may want to even enroll in the institution. How do they do that? Where can they find you? How do they enroll? Yes. So if you want to find Academic City, we actually, um, in admissions process, as we see and mm. um, we speak, first court are due to join us in September, second court in January. So if you're interested to make an impact, if you're interested to make your own mark, then please visit our website at www.act.edu.gh, that act.edu.gh, or you can call us on 059 Zero three zero eight. So that's zero five nine four zero three zero three zero eight. Mm, I like this. So zero five nine four zero three zero three zero eight. Yes, sir. You can actually get in touch with Academic City. But just, just before you go, so for those who may want to get in touch with you, what are some of the programs they can enroll yes. on? Yes. So Academic City, we offer, we say we are a STEAM-focused institution. Mm. And that's because we believe that science, technology, engineering, art, and math are what are going to transform our nation. So we do offer, um, in our Faculty of Engineering, we do offer mechanical, industrial, and systems, computer engineering, computer, um, computer engineering, robotics engineering, biomedical engineering. For the Faculty of Computational Sciences, come and do artificial intelligence as an undergraduate. We are the first to offer it in sub-Saharan Africa, come and do computer science and information technology and the humanities, technology infused humanities, I'll call it. We do do business administration and human resource management, marketing, accounting, banking and finance, and we do have an, a BBA in entrepreneurship. Wow. So if you have an idea that you want to turn into a real business, come to us and we'll help you shape it over the next four years. Dr. Lucia Japong, thank you thank very, you very so much, much for joining us. Dr. Lucia Japong is Vice President, Institutional Advancement of Academic City University College. Thank you very much for joining thank us. For this is me. the Super Morning Show on Joy 99.